now the court's January hearing will begin questioning all those involved in this case. I call on the judge to stand for questioning. Will you state under what circumstances you attended Barry Allen and what you there learned in reference to this matter and what communications you made on the subject to Mr. Burke about it? It was in the middle of December when Mary Lichtman, who was in Mrs. Bingham's apartment, told me that Mrs. Bingham wished her to tell me that there was a child living on 315 West 41st Street who had during those two years been very cruelly treated by her mother, Mrs. Connolly. Did you subsequently attempt to see Mrs. Connolly? I went to Mrs. Connolly's room. She did not ask me to come in, but I went in anyway. And that was the first time I saw Mrs. Connolly and this little child. This little girl was washing dishes from a pan, standing upon a keg turned from toward the table. Across the table lay a whip. It is what I call a rawhide. I got into conversation with Mrs. Connolly about our neighbor and asked her to go in and attend her, but she would not. Did you have any further interviews with Mrs. Connolly? I did. I went in again. The second time I went in, the child was seated in a further part of the room and had evidently been sewing. I just sat down for a few minutes and talked to Connolly. The rawhide at the time was lying across a chair. It stood near a stool where this child was sitting. I have oftentimes been past her house in hopes of finding the child more comfortably clothed, but she's always dressed as she is today, with the exception of the first time when she had an apron. Did you, at any time, ever see this child outside of Mrs. Connolly's house? Never. The child always appeared to be on guard and shut the door immediately. Every time I looked at the windows of Mrs. Connolly's room, I've never once seen the curtains raised. Thank you. You may step down. I now call Mary Ellen Lorkin to the stand for questioning. How old are you? I do not know how old I am. Let the record show that Mary Ellen Lorkin is approximately seven years old. Are your real mother and father alive? No, they are both dead. Where did you live before you lived with the Connollys? I had no recollection of a time when I did not live there. Who takes care of you? Mrs. Connolly. I call her mom. Where did your bruises come from? It's okay. Speak up. Mama has been in the habit of whipping and beating me almost every day. She used to whip me with an twisted whip, a rawhide. The whip always left black and blue marks on my body. I now have a black and blue mark on my head, which was made by Mama, and a cut down the left side of my forehead, which was made by a pair of scissors. Mama struck me with the scissors and cut me. I have no recollection of ever being hit by anyone. I've never been hit by Mama. I have never been taken onto my mama's lap and petted or caressed. I never dared speak to anyone, because if I did, I would be whipped. Whenever Mama went out, I would be locked up in the bathroom. I do not know from what I was whipped. Mama never said anything to me while she whipped me. Those are the scissors that Mama struck me with. I would now like to enter the scissors as evidence in exhibit. Would you like to go back and live with your mother? No, sir. I would not like to go back to live with my Mama, because she thinks me so. I would like to live with Miss Kelly Lee. Don't worry, child. If you do not wish to go back there, we'll see to it that you don't. I believe the child's feeling is adequate, and her statement may be released for the press now. Time for a post arrest. Is there anything else we need to hear from this poor child? No, I believe that is enough. OK, child. You may step down. It appears that all allegations in said testimony are true, and that Mary Ellen Lorcan has been cruelly and wantonly ill-treated, abused, and beaten by former guardian Mary Connolly. And Mary Connolly is wholly unfit and improper person to have further control and custody of said child. And if further control and custody be continued, it would result in irreparable damage and injury to said child. The statute in such case being provided, and the power invested in me, I do hereby order Mary Ellen Lorcan be released, discharged, and taken from the custody and control of Mary Connolly, and committed to the care and custody of the managers of the institution known as Shelton Arm, there to be and remain until further order of the Supreme Court, or until Mary Ellen attains the age of 21 years. These proceedings are now adjourned.